This is part 13 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to get the checked checkbox text along with the value. This is continuation to part 12, so please watch part 12 before proceeding. Here is what we want to achieve. As we check these checkboxes, we want to retrieve both the text and value. In this example, JS is the value, JavaScript is the text. So text is what we usually display to the end user. Value will be stored in the DB. And here is the example that we worked with in the previous video session. Notice we have got two checkbox groups, skills and preferred cities. In our case, all these checkboxes have got you know, the same text and value. However, in real time, that may not be the case always. The value may be different from text. And if you look at the jQuery code that we have written in the previous video session, what does this result collection contain? It contains all those checked checkboxes. And here we are using this jQuery each function to iterate over the checkboxes that are present within this result collection. And notice we are calling this here. So what is this keyword referring to? This is referring to a checkbox within that result collection. And on that element, we are calling value function. What is this value function going to do? It's going to return us the value of the checkbox. Similarly, in jQuery, we also have got text function, which is going to return us the text of an element. So let's use that and see if that's going to work with checkbox. So we have the value here. Now to that, let's append a dash. And then to that, Let's append the text of the checkbox. And to get the check, uh, text of the checkbox, I'm going to call text function. And to that, let's append an HTML break. So let's save these changes. And let's reload this page. And look at this. When I select JavaScript, I get the value. And we have a dash there. But we don't get the text that is associated with that checkbox. OK, so basically, text function is not working with that checkbox element. Okay, so let's see now how to retrieve the text. So here we have got the text. This is the text that is displayed next to this checkbox element. Okay, so to make this work, I'm actually going to put this inside a label control. And then on that label control, we can call text and it's going to work. So let's take that value and let's use a label here. And let's use for attribute for that label. And I'm using this label for this checkbox. OK, so I'm going to call it for option hyphen. I'm actually going to change the value of our JavaScript checkbox to JS. You know, And here, we're going to say this is the label for option hyphen JS. And then let's paste the text that we want to display next to the checkbox. OK, so for this checkbox, the value is JS and text is JavaScript. OK, now for this for attribute, we have specified the value as option hyphen JS. You can give this any meaningful name that you want. For example, I can give it like CB hyphen JS. So this is label for checkbox JavaScript. OK. So similarly, let's do that modification for all these checkboxes. So for the jQuery checkbox, the value is going to be JQ. For C sharp, let's actually change it to CS. For VB, it's going to be VB. Similarly, for New York, NY, New Delhi, ND, and London, let's change it to LN. And let's also include a label for every checkbox. So let's paste that there and for these checkboxes as well. OK, so for jQuery, um, you know, this for attribute of the label is going to contain CB hyphen JQ. For C sharp, it is going to be CS. And for Visual Basic, VB. And for this label, NY, New Delhi, and London. OK, and similarly, we want to change the text as well. So let's take that and put it inside this label. Similarly, let's take C sharp and put it here and VB. 
and let's do the same thing for the other set of checkboxes. And finally London. Alright, now so we have a checkbox and a label. Okay, so here we are iterating through all the checkboxes that are present within that result collection. And here is that loop. So here I'm actually going to create a variable. Let's actually call this selected value equals, I'm actually going to use this. Okay, so let's cut that from there and include that. Okay, so within the result string, what we want, we want the value of the checkbox. Okay, so that's going to be in that selected value variable. And to that, we want to append the text. And where is the text present that is present inside a label? And if you look at the for attribute value, you know, it is cb-js for JavaScript cb-jq for jQuery. Okay, so after dash, whatever text you have, that is equal to the value of the associated checkbox. Okay, and we already have the selected value of the checkbox. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, instead of using this, this keyword, what does this refers to? This refers to the checkbox that is present within this result collection. Okay, but the text now is actually present in the label control so we want to retrieve the text from the associated label okay so how are we going to find this label we can use you know this jQuery selector find all label elements where for attribute equals CB so that's how the value is hyphen and then you know whatever is the value of the checkbox okay so to that we want to concatenate the value of the checkbox and where is the value of the checkbox present that is present in the selected value variable so I can use that there so CB hyphen if it is in our JavaScript checkbox, cb-js. So that's going to get this label control and the text method is going to pull out the text from that label, okay? So cb-js, for example, and then we need to close this quotation mark. So let's put a single quote there. So we need to close that double quote and we need to close the square bracket and finally end the single quote. Okay, and then we are calling text function. That should return us the text that is present in the associated label. Okay, so let's save these changes. And let's go ahead and reload the page. Look at this. When we select JavaScript, I get the value, JS, and the text JavaScript. Similarly, when we select New Delhi, so ND is the value, and New Delhi is the text. And here's the HTML and the jQuery code. Thank you for listening and have a great day.